Hello everyone, it's time for a rant. This is going to be another one of those rants, very much in vain of other rants where it's just, I, uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things, there's probably more important issues in my life, but, God, I just want to. So, anyway, um, I don't know if you've heard of it because this is not a franchise, to my knowledge, but I love going to Pilot on Pizza. It's at the Bella Terra in Huntington Beach, and I go there a lot because there is a movie theater right there, a Century, and I see a lot of movies there. And afterwards, or sometimes even before, I want to go and I want to eat pizza. And they've got great pizza. I love their pizza. Love it, love it, love it. And they've got cane sugar soda there, cane sugar root beer. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. It tastes so good. And just thinking about it makes me want to get one, and that is ultimately why making this video is going to be such a heartbreak for me, because I can never go back there again. Absolutely not. Never, never, never. And I do not encourage you to go there either. Now you might be thinking, why, Kevin? Why? Why are you saying this even if the pizza is so good? And let me tell you why. The owner. The owner is a terrible person, and he is a scumbag owner as far as I'm concerned. And I'm not just exaggerating. Here's the thing. Um, the story goes, well, here, okay, here's how, it, here's where it went. I went there, I ordered a pizza, and, um, you know, I got the typical pizza, like, you know, build your own, red sauce with mozzarella and ovalini, pepperoni, bacon, and ham. I'm crying just thinking about never have eating there again, but... Anyway, so goes through, they ask, do you want a drink with that? I say yes, and I hand them my card, and I pay. They start the card, it goes through, and they hand me the receipt, paid in full. Um, get the drink, um, they bring me the pizza, I wait a few minutes for it to cool, and before I start to eat it, the cashier's like, um, Kevin, I need to talk to you. I'm like, okay. Um, and I go up, and she's like, it only charged for part of the food. Like, what are you talking about? You know, you charge for $2. You have another $9 lying around. Like, or is there something... Or do you have no money in your bank account? Which was like... Um, okay, first of all, yes, I do have money in my bank account. I just did an express pay of over $100 on Lyft. You know, four hours ago. Which went through. Because I withdrew some of that money. Not all of it, but some of it to give to my landlord. It's like, I know that, the, and I didn't spend any money that four hours since. And besides, it already went through. You gave me the receipt. And she was like, well, no, it didn't all go through, so I need more money before we can let you have that pizza. And it's like, well, look, I'm not giving you, well, here, take the pizza. And I grabbed my drink and I left. But, you know, I'd been there so many times, it's like, I decided to turn around it's like, okay, you know, I'm going to go back and I'm going to complain to a manager. Like, this actually seems like one of those times where you should legitimately complain about something. And went to the manager and I said, hey, here's the situation. This is what happened. And by the way, I'm not card. I'm not even saying that that's necessarily the issue. The issue is you charged me, handed me a receipt, said everything was okay, handed me the pizza, and then you took it back. And that's wrong. And based on that interaction, I don't know if I ever want to shop here again. And I come here all the time. I'm a regular. Like some of you, some of the your employees know me. And I don't want to come here again. And you want to know what his response was? Okay. Like that's all he said. He just said, okay, no, I'm sorry this happened. I don't, it's like, well, I'm sorry. No, we don't know if it was this thing, machine, like, Here's the thing, I'm, and he just said, okay, no effort to keep his loyal customer. And I even showed him on my app, because I'm a frequent visitor, and you see all those black spots there? That's how many times I've been there in the last couple months. Seven times. Seven times in two months. And that's an email. Like, that is... That is someone you keep around. But he had no interest in 
in keeping his customers happy. He had no interest in looking into what happened. Oh, and by the way, owner, if you are watching this, I checked my bank statement when I got home because I'm not going to do it on the phone. That's a security risk. But I checked, and guess what? I got charged the entire $10.85 for the pizza. A pizza you guys took away and wouldn't even give the slight bit of that doubt that, hey, if there was something wrong with the card, you would have just rejected the card. It wouldn't go through. It's like, pile on pizza. I'm officially never eating at you again. I'm going to tell people never to eat at you. This YouTube video will go up, and I doubt a lot of people will see it because you're only one store. You're not a franchise. But if I can get one person to look up pile it up pizza when they're looking by and thinking about eating at you, and they find this video, it will be worth if I can convince them not to go to your store. I got charged for pizza that I didn't even end up eating, by the way. You asked me for more money, and when I explained the issue and how I almost, it made me not want to eat at your restaurant anymore, and this is even though I am a loyal regular, your response was, okay, well, you know what? Screw you. I'm never eating you again. Anyone who's watching this, never, ever, ever eat at Pilot on Pizza. Never do it. And um, if the owner thinks I am being um, unfair, huh. okay.